Hi, my name is Dom Starr. I'm a campaign designer for Total War Room 2. Dom, tell us about Total War Room 2. What's it, what are you showing here at E3? Uh, we're showing uh, the campaign map, which until recently has been a mystery to all. Um, we had a small reveal last week, and uh, here we're showing it to uh, the mass press. Um, and also a couple of battles. We have a new historical battle based on the, uh, the Battle of the Nile, which is when Caesar found himself stuck in Egypt um, at odds with the forces of uh, Ptolemy and um, basically had to deal with uh, a well-entrenched Egyptian army while also trying to survive on, uh, on, on the Nile itself, those two fleets clashing. So what are some of the challenges when developing a campaign? Because you pull so much from history, are you limited by that or does it actually help you? Well, if anything, it gives us such a, a rich source of information. Um, there's so much to tap into. Obviously, it can be an overwhelming at times this, because there's so much of what do you pick. Um, but uh, we find that certain elements are a bit they're conducive to more fun gameplay. You know? um, something we, we don't like to do is to bog people down in, uh, in detail and education. Um, we will say if it's, if it's not fun, then we shouldn't probably put it in the game. But obviously, the um, history is full of rich examples of uh, what we're making a war game. The human race is, is built on conflict. Um, you know, we wouldn't be where we are without that. And so there's, there's many things we've been able to tap into. Uh, like I, I mentioned, the, the Battle of the Nile, that was a, an epic conflict. And it gives us a perfect opportunity to provide a challenging uh, battle scenario for players to, to have a crack at. But um, in the end, though, what we don't like to do is kind of make the player feel like they need to be avid historians or they have to know the course of history to be able to play. Um, you may learn something uh, from playing the game, but in the end, we like to provide a, a starting position that's based on historical fact. But from that point on, really, it's a, it's a matter of a, it's a sandbox. Go and make history. Go and conquer the world as you would have liked to. You don't have to be Roman do exactly what the Romans did. You could be one of uh, the poor factions that fell to Rome's might and you know, turn the tables. Go and destroy Rome for once. Um, yeah, so we like to provide a sandbox based on history, but then let the player sort of play with things we've created, uh, also inspired by history, and sort of have fun in their sandbox. Could that lead into my other question, is could, actually, could someone actually learn about uh, Roman history playing this game? Well, um, we definitely, we're not... You're count not Discovery Channel, yeah. We're, 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 not, uh, we're not providing edutainment here. Um, everything we do, though, is uh, informed by historical research, and uh, where possible, we try to have detail that a player can... Uh, sort of dip into if they so choose, and they will learn something that is, in fact, uh, true. Um, you can have a unit that you've recruited, look at his uh, description, his, uh, his details, and you'll read a bit, a bit about that unit's history. Um, maybe an example of where they fought, the weapons they were good with, uh, a particular example of uh, someone they were good at fighting against, like a unit of cavalry being particularly weak against uh, a guy with a massive spear or something. Um, and also in the this time around, as the player moves towards uh, reaching his ultimate objectives, we have a series of sort of chapter goals. Um, each one of these helps the player find his way to producing the biggest, best empire that is, uh, is possible. But associated with each of these, we have historical missions or bonus objectives based on history. Now you don't have to follow these, but if you do, then. Um, like I say, they're, they're themed on things that that faction actually did or might have done had they not been killed. The biggest problem, obviously, being that Rome with the victors, they killed many, many great powers before they had a chance to really uh, find their way, so it's not always easy.